Welcome to the homework, grade one, module one. This is lesson 23. Write your name first before you forget it. Uh, this says we're filling in missing boxes and find the totals for all of the expressions. Use your completed addition chart to help you. So the completed addition chart I'm going to be doing a lot of going back and forth for this. Uh, the complete addition chart looks like this. So you have all of these on your chart. It was one, two, three, four, and so on. Um, I'm going to be going back and forth for that chart because that's how we're looking for missing boxes. So for number one, we're looking for this one here. What's next to the 2 plus 2 box? We go back to the chart. There's the 2 plus 2 box, so we're looking for 2 plus 3. Now you can use the chart, or maybe you just maybe you just know these, or you can count them up. But it's easier if you have the chart, just have it next to you and look at it. And you can just write in the answers, right? It's going to be 3. That's 4. 2 plus 2 is a double. 4. 2 plus 3 is a double plus 1. So it's 1 more than the double total. And 3 plus 2. We've got 3 plus 3. That's a 6. That's a double. And if that's this is a double minus 1, you can think of it that way. And now we're looking at... I'm going to use a different color for this one, just so it's easier to see on the see on the addition chart. So we're looking for the 7 plus 1 and we need to know what's next to it. So let's look on the chart. I just want to show this. Going, I'm going back and forth because I want to show you how to use the chart. Right? We're looking for 7 plus 1. So what's next to it? It's right there. It's the 7 plus 2. So that's what we need there. We need 7 plus 2. And then we need to know what's under the 7 plus 1. Like, I mean, you might guess from the pattern it's going to be 8 plus 1, because these are all plus 1s, right? 6 plus 1, 7 plus 1. Right? Then we've got 8 plus 1 and 9 plus 1. So you might be able to guess that, but if you want to look at the chart, you can say, okay, what's under 7 plus 1? And look at the chart. Here's the 7 plus 1, and this is the one we're looking for. It is 8 plus 1. Okay. So that's all we're doing is we're taking the expressions from that part of the chart. That's how we figure out what to put there. And then we're just going to solve all of the expressions. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 and 1 more than 8 is 9. And 1 more than 9 is 10. 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we're looking at these. Are, these are plus 2s. So 6 plus 1 is 7. 6 plus 2 is 8. And you can just copy these right off the chart, too. That's what the chart's for. You know, so you can just look at it. It's just like using flashcards. Uh, and so if 7 plus 1 is 8, 7 plus 2 has to be 9. And if 8 plus 1 is 9, 8 plus 2 is 10. And that's a way to make 10 down the rows. And now looking at 3 and 4. Um, hopefully with those other two examples, you can see how to go back and forth on the chart. I'm going to go back to using, let's see, I use blue and orange. I'm going to use green now. So we can keep track of what I'm using when I have it. So we're looking for what's next to 4 plus 5. And if you go on the chart, here's the 4 plus 5. So we're looking for this one here, 4 plus 6. If I were you, I mean, you can, just, you can do all this in pencil. You don't have to use the different colors. I'm just using them just so that it's easier for you to see what I'm doing in my example. And that was a 4 plus 6. Now we're looking for this box here. We're looking for what's under the 4 plus 5. And if you look here on the chart, there's the 4 plus 5. We're looking at that thing that's under it. It's 5 plus 5. And now we can solve all these. 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 is a double. That's 8. 
and that's a double plus one, so that's nine, and this is, that's a ten, four plus six is one of the ways to make nine, eight, nine, ten. And, you know, we just did four plus five, so this is the same, this is almost the same expression, it's just five plus four, it's the same add ends, so it has to have the same total, nine. Five plus five, that's one of the, that's the easiest way to make ten that everybody remembers first. And then we have, we had eight, nine, ten here, we got nine, ten, and here we just have ten. Or you would get eight, nine, ten going down. And then, here's our last one. We've got two plus four. So you can see, like, what's in between two plus four and two plus six? Well, it's two plus five. You might be able to figure that out without just, without even looking at the chart. 2 plus 5. Alright, so what are we looking for here? We have two other ones to figure out on either side of the 3 plus 5. If you're going to use the chart, go back up here, find the 3 plus 5. Here it is. Right, and we're looking for what's on either side of it. It's the 3 plus 4 and the 3 plus 6. So that's what's supposed to go there. 3 plus 4 and 3 plus 6. Now, if you're already good at the, uh, let me just solve these first before I go on about the chart. But that's 2 plus 4, that's a 6. 2 plus 5, 7. These are all, and you can also, it's easier to think of these as, even though it's 2 plus 6, it's easier to think of 6, 2 more than 6, than just think of 6 more than 2. So, 2 more than 6 is 8. And the 3 and the 4, if you're using the chart, that's 7, this is 8, and that's 9. And that's uh, that's the homework. Um, just looking at the chart, I'm sure you noticed this if you, when you were in class, uh, if you had a chance to look at it. Um, but these are all 5, 6, 9, 10. Going across, the numbers are all going in order because we're adding one, then we're adding one more, we're adding three more, we're adding four more, we're adding five more, but they're also plus, they're also one pluses, they're also plus ones. So you notice that here, going down, you're adding all zeros, zero, 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 zero. And if I'm looking the second column over, then um, use yellow here, and I'm adding all ones going down. And I go over from there. Now I'm adding twos. And so on. And you can see in each column goes the first add in is one, two, three, four, five. And going down is one, two, three, four, five. So you can see that all the patterns here in this chart. There's lots and lots of them. The more you look at this chart, you're going to find more and more patterns. And you have all the totals in there, you're going to see even more patterns. And they're all just different ways of finding tricks to help you think of, uh, to help you learn your addition facts so you just know them really well.